All right, all right, all right. These are the 2016-17 Oklahoma City Thunder. And today is October 25th, 2016. Welcome back. If you're above the age of like seven, if you're under that age, you were probably a concept or a thought. And I got a call from a good friend named Sam Presti, GM or whatever of the Thunder. He said, hey, I can't do this anymore. I'm going to go sell hot dogs at the arena, which means that I am now tasked with saving soon to be MVP Russell Westbrook and his team. In case you don't know, a bomb was dropped on July 4th of 2016 when this guy, decided to dip off to the Warriors Kevin Durant that was really interesting but uh speaking of bombs by the way shout out to Woj Woj retired in real life today I, I couldn't believe that that was like the most devastated I felt about it. anybody retiring since like Mello I'm like damn why Woj of all people they got Woj out of here I've had that dude's notifications on for like 10 years every single thought or anything I have of basketball somehow coincides with a Woj tweet anyways it's time and we're here Russell Westbrook Victor Oladipo Steven Adams Andre Roberson and obviously uh, it's a bonus. This is pre Paul George and Mello trade, then turned Westbrook for CP3 trade, obviously. But that, I mean, that was way later. And, and Paul George for Shea. It's a lot happened in the next three years for this team. So instead of letting that all happen, we're going to try and, you know, this guy was the MVP in 2017 and was in Houston by 2019. So we're going to try and make this 27 year old's rest of his career pan out a little bit better. That starts with, well, for one, not playing Ennis Cantor at power forward. Are we insane? It's meant Ennis Cantor was one of the worst defenders of all time 72 interior defense is even generous and just last one, one last thing i think i have to mention is that like we're gonna have to defy all odds to even win in this league now considering that this team exists so yeah you know what i think i'm gonna start by just simulating a little bit just because okay dejounte murray for oladipo um maybe in a few years not right now okay yeah off the rip we are getting pummeled in smoke so let me just stop there westbrook is averaging 45 13 and then 12 to start the season he's gonna average that damn triple double again he hasn't dropped less than 40 all but once and it was 39 in the one game we won he had to drop 50 okay yeah let's get him some help i'm not gonna waste any more time now before we go any further i want to thank you the prize picks response from this video prize picks is the best place to play daily fantasy sports available in over 30 states if you use the code click you can get 50 dollars instantly when you play your first lineup for five dollars or more it's be 19 or old to play age restrictions vary from state to state and please play responsibly also a prize picks demons and goblins feature you can win up to 100 times your money so for today's picks i'm gonna go ahead and take that free caleb williams square full of month of september needs one pass yard for that Brees hall would need just one touchdown he's done that in all of his recent games i'm gonna go ahead and take that one as well mondre stevenson he's done this in most of his recent games 66 and a half rush yards i'm gonna say more for that i'm gonna go for more alvin kamara 61 and a half rush yards and more for brock bowers on receiving yards so on this entry i went up to 10 times my money on prize picks we went up to 25 times your money on any entry and get a prize pick sponsor this video remember to use code click and get 50 dollars instantly when you play your first five dollar lineup and now to get back into the video you know i wasn't even planning on doing this but i'm gonna turn the trade negotiation up to 100 uh difficulty just because screw it i've been doing that for a while now like the whole year basically on this channel now this team about a year later traded victor oladipo and sabonis for paul george all right yeah i don't know call me stupid but i decided to simulate even more and we're out here losing to the pistons in the 2016 knicks this is not good oh my did i see the 20 28 16 nets as a loss yeah this is terrible we lost to trevor booker steven adams is pissed you know what steven adams so am i but i'm not mad at you though we're gonna keep you regardless that Steven Adams is the one guy I want to keep, although he ain't shooting too well. He's out here shooting 45%. You know, I lied. I'm turning this back down to 50. I want to build Westbrook a crackhead team. But honestly, I changed it, and I am I feel like I'm getting similar offers for Old Depot and Sabonis that I, I saw when I put them on here in 100. So this is going to be tough regardless. That's good, though. Let's take a gander. I know it's early in the season, but at other teams that suck so we can maybe steal their players uh kobe retired so there's nobody really from the lakers we can take they just suck they're gonna go get lonzo um the hornets don't have anybody aside from kemba so yeah um yeah that's not gonna work or help and get andre drummond maybe the sixes are too young they got joel Embiid, norman's noel ben simmons who the hell is this 17 million dollars okay so look i'm over here trying to trade for uh I, I was looking around right and i saw chris bosh and i said hmm chris bosh still in the league didn't have to retire from the damn blood clots yet now on top of that there was a lot of rumors about him maybe even going to teams like the rockets around this time maybe like a year earlier than this it was before whenever he signed the current contract he's on i'm like well if he's gonna be around for a little bit longer he's a little bit older maybe not as bad with the trade value value now i will say this though i put oladipo in here and it said hey he's making seven million chris bosh is making 23 million you could do this straight up i'm like damn i could do this straight up even though it's like damn near a 20 million dollar difference then i even saw this dude down here though but why do i have to pay this guy 17 million what the hell is going on here anyways all i'm seeing though is that we should have a lot of money in this next free agency now who's gonna be in there 
Uh, probably KD again, but also like, I don't know. Uh, for people that would actually matter for us, well, KD, but well, I'm not going to sign that bastard back. And uh, Paul Millsap. Oh yeah, Gordon Hayward was the star of that free agency. Yeah, that tells you enough. I mean, he's cool though. Hey, I wish I can get Boogie. They saying he's untouchable. Damn. I'm going to try and finesse the Bucks for Chris Milton. Only reason why too this would make sense is because they have Jabari Parker still and he's actually still good. So, and also Middleton's not playing that well. Don't really need to rationalize this though because I said screw it anyways. This isn't going to be, this is going to be realistic stick but not really it's not going to be anything screw it it's what it's it's up for your interpretation anyways oh okay i definitely just finessed them hey I, I took some bonus out of there i said screw it we'll keep whatever town we can keep andre roberson anthony morrow and three second round picks to the bucks for chris middleton you know what? I'll take it. Chris Middleton, welcome to Oklahoma City. You're wearing that number 22 because nobody ever wears 22, even though I think it's kind of a cool number. Actually, doesn't Cameron Payne wear 22? Yeah, you definitely just snatched his number. Unless he wore 15 in OKC. I don't know. Anyways, uh, Sabonis was cold, so now he'll go back to the bench. Damn, they're trying to start Ennis Cantor over Steven Adams. I disagree with that. Um, This is entirely my, you know, control and everything. So I have to, you know what I'm saying, take full control, take full accountability for whatever happens with this team. So with that being said, so yeah, they're starting, uh, they're starting Nick Collison at the damn four. I will say I did look at the free agency. Now we did just trade two players. <laughs> now look, these players are nasty, old, smelly, stinky, can't shoot free throws. But speaking of can't shoot free throws, I saw Josh Smith out here. 30 year old Josh Smith. You want, you know, just in case we ever need some depth, I'll give you a little team option. You're going to want to accept this anyways. I know um, because you're not going to get an offer anywhere else. If I, if I give him that, I mean, he's probably going to be in the rotation off the rip. Yeah, he is. Oh, he for sure is. Uh, Norris Cole hasn't even played on the season yet, but you're also a fake person. So I'm not even going to give you a, yo, there's still one comment section like from years ago where I'll like look at the recent comments sometimes and it'll be people commenting like, oh, you said Luau Deng's a creative player. He Ain't no clear rated player that's luau dang you ain't watched basketball you idiot i'm saying he's a creative player in the game look at him that i i hate when y'all be stupid in these damn comments anyways that's random i'm gonna give josh smith the starting role screw it we're gonna we're gonna trust josh smith i'll give nick collis in the bench next to support damn that's a lot of big men though i lied nick collis and you might keep your starting role it says you're playing on fire too you actually yeah, you're actually doing pretty good josh smith can play a little bit of the three and this team is disgusting so uh let's let's simulate as little as possible before we can make the next move First game did nothing well, and we finally beat the Hawks. I mean, we're 13th in the conference. Worst case scenario, we could just thug it out and just lose. And then, uh, you know, I didn't trade our first round pick this year. We still have it. So if we really suck and 2K says, screw it, Russell Westbrook was carrying the hell out this team. They were not supposed to be good. We can go ahead and try and tank for like a top three pick. I mean, they didn't win in real life this year anyways, but uh, I would still like to try though. How far are we out of the playoffs right now? We are 13 and a half games back. So we're, we're three games out of the eighth seed. Now, I will say Westbrook is playing out of his damn mind, 39, 13 and 11. Now, shoot, I probably talked about it in videos before. Shoot, I personally think Harden should win the MVP this, this year. But if Westbrook's playing like this, hell no, he can have it. He can have it. 40 a game. Shoot, that's better than any season in the past uh, however long. Wilt? I don't know. Michael? Let's see how the team in totality is playing. Westbrook is just carrying. Also, Oladipo's shot tendency is probably trash. I mean, it's a 75. That's not bad. Now Middleton's here. So he wasn't really playing that well over there in Milwaukee, but we had nothing to lose. So I just went and got him anyways. Oh, I didn't realize the bonus was listed as center. I thought he was listed as power forward. Let me change that. Because, yeah, I, even though he was playing kind of cold, I, I would like if he just continued to start. Hello, Billy Donovan. Oh, boy, you can re-sign Norris Cole. Hell no, I ain't re-sign Norris Cole. You know what I will do, though? Um, I am not about to let them finesse us. Take this $17 million contract, dude, and get this contract off my books, please. After this season, I don't want to see you again. I mean, honestly, I could even make that. I'm going to make that first year devalue to nothingness. I don't. I'm not trying to deal with that. What is this BS? This person doesn't even exist. Yeah, take that minimum. Hold that. His description. Hold on. Can I see? him one more time his description is rebounder i mean you know he's got a b plus that ain't that bad maybe you can get a rotation spot on this trash team steven adams is really pissed i don't think i'll be back in okc after this contract you got five years you might not even be alive i mean well uh we know that you'll be alive because um you know it's been eight years probably but anyways all right now this is a real nasty 2000 and whatever the hell trade that i like nick collison and ennis Cantor for kenneth farid now ennis Cantor has been trash honestly 41 percent from the field and only six boards a game um, for Ennis Cantor, that's, I mean, that's literally all you do. So I don't like that. Um, screw it. We'll do it. Hey, Denver, enjoy. Thanks. Why? Cause it, it, it seemed like we never really had a distinct power forward to start. So now we have one of those and then the rest is the rest. Honestly, team sucks still, but whatever. Next up, we're going to trade with the bucks again for literal 40 year old Andre Miller. I'm going to trade Norris Cole for Andre Miller. Why? Shout out to Steve Novak too. 
because he's averaging like 10 a game on efficient shooting uh and we need as much talent as we can get on this damn trash team andre miller is now our sixth man so that tells you a lot about what's going on over here okay cool we're on a three game win streak ever since all these moves up we just lost but better better so far now there's no play in game because it's 2016 17 rondo for all the depot over my dead body now the only thing is we're we're still under 500 and i don't know if there's like anything i can do that'll bring us above that because we're kind of hellish i mean this the best player i've seen ever on the market is deandre jordan so far i did say earlier i wanted to try and trade for chris bosh but uh i don't even know if that would change anything at this point plus now with the season down the wire like at, at least chris middleton is young so he'll he'll still have some impact for us past this season if we don't make it and yeah this is bad this is really bad i, I you know what sam i understand you could have your job back as of right now the only place we're predicted is number nine in the draft not no damn playoff spot oh russ i'm sorry we failed you we have failed you screw it i'm cutting it down to a seven-man rotation just andre miller he's about to die probably trying to play this much and sabonis with the starters yo we lost like 40 straight games i'm looking at it right now on the screen and just really realizing how bad this has been yeah this team is gonna yeah we gotta give up we we gotta give up okay so uh what i mean by give up is this offseason will be life-changing but this season is not it let's start with a blockbuster trade andre miller to the pacers for a knicks lottery protected pick in 2019 um because andre miller is 40 years old he's just gonna get worse so i don't want him here all the other guys except for josh smith week so uh, and steve novak yeah actually can i see what i can get for them i did see jeremy grant i mean he ended up in okc anyways i'm not sure when they traded for him but he ended up here somehow you know what screw it let's fulfill the prophecy uh jeremy grant welcome back i'm gonna keep the rest of these scrubs until the draft and see what i can do with them but uh and actually one last thing let's let's fully tank and what i mean by that is bench depth this uh bench all of these scrubs except for the super scrubs yep let's let's od let's just tank it out westbrook's about to want to leave uh this is gonna be bad i kind of don't want to tank though because i i Part of me wants to see what would happen if I uh, just let it go. Wait, we're only four games off? Nope, don't tank. Don't tank. Don't tank. See what happens. I know I just traded the old dudes. It doesn't matter. We're, it, they weren't that good anyways. Eight-man rotation. Don't let it be Karan Butler. Let it be Jeremy Grant. Karan, oh my goodness, he's shooting 17% from three. Yeah, let it be Jeremy Grant instead of Karan Butler. Uh, let them play like 12 minutes a game. Play Westbrook the full 48. Yep, that's right. You heard me, the full 48. And let the rest of these guys run a little bit as well. Okay, let's do it. Come on one last dance come on russ just four games out this is how he felt in real life oh my goodness we're getting smoked they literally just can't do it we we literally just can't do it so i pull the plug let me try one more time wait let's see six game yeah it's over no nah, it's over all right it's time to give up all right scrubs are in plus russell 48 minute rotation is he still gonna win mvp matter of fact he's probably still first in the mvp race no he's not damn and he might he might get it now honestly how do we just win a game the reason why i pulled the plug is because I'm, I'm trying to get the highest pick possible and uh we we lost most of our rest of our games steph curry won mvp again iguodala in sixth player of the year Jokic most improved i don't care about none of you scrubs westbrook made the first team next year will be our revenge i don't care next year is going to be our revenge gordon hayward where you at <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, LeBron won again. That's crazy. Damn, the Warriors didn't even... Damn, the Warriors lost to the Clippers in the second round? You guys are trash. See? See, 2K, this is why Blake Griffin needs to be in the game. That Shout out to the roster makers. They got him back in here. I am on the PC, actually. I don't know if I mentioned this entire time. Thank, Thankfully, I traded Andre Miller. My brother went and retired anyways. All right, let's see. Draft lottery, where do we stand? Where do we stand? We are six. Not bad. I'll, I'll take six. I'll take six. Now, in this draft, this is one of the better drafts ever, but I also... You know what? Screw it. It. come on come on we fell to seven that's okay that's all right we have assets we have uh capital we have the seventh pick that's not bad i mean in one of those mock drafts it said we were gonna get bam i don't know if bam's gonna fall all the way here since he's fourth ranked now we can still look at all these top 10 guys though um with all due respect to josh hart maybe my uh him malik monk I, i'd rather one of these other guys but still oh my goodness look at look at who's fourth ranked in the 2k rank the real best player in the draft let me see what i could do now i really just want one high pick and then to move because and then to really just free up cap space oh my goodness damn they are making oh did oladipo just have an extension kick in damn that's not good yeah that's not good we're probably over the cap oh, oh no i know the owners over here are kicking their feet pissed off matter of fact can i do a westbrook's extension real quick no i probably gonna do a free agency time because i saw he's about to expire too i don't know who the hell this scrub is but we got to get him out of here too now i knew when i got kenneth free that he was basically just a last ditch effort to try and make the playoffs this past season that he would be gone in the offseason regardless unless we want to ring or something um so he's gonna be out of here just because he didn't 
can help us. Middleton probably will be too, honestly. Um, and you actually, no, I might keep Middleton over Victor just because 21 million is kind of crazy. And honestly, even Steven Adams, I think Steven Adams was not making this money either. Oh my. I'm fine with sticking with Billy Donovan for now. I'm just going to live with him. Actually, maybe I lied. You know what? Let's go get Michael Stauffer. Let's not leave any. Damn, he don't want to be here. Oh my. Uh, Billy Donovan, where you at? Actually, just anybody? No, nobody wants to be here. <laughs> Doc Rivers, I can't do it. I cannot do it. Okay, let me get Jacob Underwood. Jacob, welcome to the team. There you go. Why would I trade Chris Middleton in pick seven for Gerald Henderson in pick eight? Kind of crack are the Sixers on. Also, for the record, we don't have our picks for the next two years. So um, I, maybe this one's lottery protected. Actually, I can just look here. Okay, this one is two. So they both are. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. All right, I'm going to probably be able to finesse the third pick here. Why is that? Because the Kings, they're still in the boogie cousin era they are currently i'm able to give them a lot of salary space because a lot of their guys are expired and boogie i mean as far as i'm concerned he, he's yeah, he's been untouchable so he's not gonna get traded to the pelicans in this universe either so you know what how about you guys take all my trash role players and uh we can have the third pick i ideally i don't even want to have to trade the seventh pick I, I think third and seventh would be a good little two to have i'll trade this 2021 pick i'll do it okay no hold on i need one more evaluation to be made before i trade for that uh, any any pick because scrolling through the team intels it looks like like now, I think sometimes it can glitch. Like if Giannis is expired, they might be saying he's not untouchable because he's expired. Or actually, it doesn't say it right there. And same with Jimmy Butler. So can I actually maybe finesse some for like Jimmy or Giannis? Or shoot, I could go and make the damn Paul George trade again. But I don't know if that's ideal. But you could still argue that the smartest thing to do would just be to trade for a top three pick. And then my only thing is, if it's not Donovan and it's not Jason Tatum, then it might not be worth it. I mean, uh, yeah, because De'Aaron's a one. We could just run two pgs but eh. yeah so Giannis is not untouchable and he averaged 24 and 11 this year they were the 10th seed and it said they were selling in their uh, little description thing but i could do like i mean hey maybe i just trade them the house how much money does he make 22 million i threw basically everything i could at them and it didn't work for Giannis. but i have a feeling damn is jimmy a higher rated i don't know but i i feel like it could work for jimmy honestly nah they're asking for a lot i'm not gonna lie sabonis so if they, okay yeah i don't know if i can do anything here all right you gotta realize in real life they were able to get paul george for sabonis and and victor oladipo alone so if i gotta trade three first round picks plus half the team for jimmy i don't know if it's more valuable than just trading for a third pick and signing gordon hayward he might have re-signed actually don't see him whatever it don't matter damn 2k might actually change something because anthony davis isn't even untouchable so i'm actually happy those trades didn't work yet because shoot i genuinely will give up everything you guys can have the whole team i literally do not care you could have the whole team for anthony davis you could have that pick you could have this guy you could have that guy you could have this you could have this all right uh well that didn't work oh my god it worked i threw in that seventh pick and they didn't even think twice anthony davis welcome to the oklahoma city thunder welcome to the oklahoma city thunder now i'm gonna i threw in the seventh pick for that too so now i traded literally the whole team i traded everything steven adams chris middleton victor oladipo demonis bonus 2021 20, first round 2017 oh my god you know what it was kind of fun though i ain't gonna lie it was a lot but it was fun uh uh kenneth reed um hey get the hell out of here can i trade you for like any any type of semi high pick please please yo they really don't want kenneth freed I, I can't even get the 12th pick for him dog timberwolves please oh my goodness if i take this guy out it'll probably work then all right screw him. gonna give up the new york lottery protected pick to get john henson back but trust me this this will be worth it so i'm gonna just trade john henson now and i'll get something back for him like a pick please yeah there you go i mean those are warriors picks though first picks i mean nonetheless you know i'll take a protected nets pick that sounds like a good deal all right now we're sitting here with literally uh, Westbrook, Anthony Davis, Cameron Payne, Jeremy Grant, and nothing else. Nothing else. And I'm excited for it. We're going to go and rebuild everything back. We now have the 11th pick in the draft instead of the 7th pick in the draft, which honestly isn't a huge down uh, downgrade. But on top of that, we also lost the entire team. Um, and I'm kind of happy about it. I, I hate this damn team. Jason Tatum went back to the Celtics. Oh my goodness, Zach Collins went back there. So I could have traded all the depot for that third pick and had Donovan Mitchell plus the whole team. But I felt like watching this. Oh my goodness, they traded their whole team for the fourth and eighth pick. See ya. Markel Fultz there. Okay. For the record, I literally have nothing else to trade. Um, who is, who is still even available? on the on the board bam is i'm not gonna lie if we could have got bam somehow or Lori marketing either one if one of them falls screw it i'm just gonna keep our pick hopefully one of them falls all right Lori marketing is still here this is a this is a good pick i'm sorry frank i'm sorry i can't do it yeah bam went sixth i had a feeling that was gonna be the case and they let Lori marketing fall all the way here so maybe i'll have to finesse something where 
And you know what else too? We'll have to, we'll be able to pay him less money because we're drafting with the 11th pick. So I'm happy about that as well. Um, because we're gonna need a lot of money to sign people in about 3.8 seconds. Also, this is oh, that's kind of does it actually? Oh wow, it actually lets you trade. Let you trade any of these guys now. Can I still see players on other teams that got drafted. I don't know. Wait. Oh yeah, there he goes. There goes Fox. Oh, that's actually cool. Most years you gotta do some finessing to like find them in the trade finder and all types of stuff but 75 overall it's not bad so basically we make up for Sabonis uh leaving by getting you know another white guy who can play basketball or whatever oh frank to the pistons damn they did an early seku dumboya he is a 75 though uh they're saying to decline jeremy grant i disagree with that we're gonna need whatever talent we can get and he only makes a million dollars i'll keep both of them for now yo imagine imagine i went and signed them back <laughs> oh my god steph curry's here hey steph how you doing uh he's got an effort he doesn't have an offer from anywhere I, yo, this game be pissing me off with how it navigates contracts. Is KD really about to go to the Lakers? I mean, he's got a Warriors deal. Um, So realistically, at least. Well, I mean, genuinely, we could sign John Wall and play John Wall as a combo guard. Uh, he's from Kentucky, right? And so is AD. We could we could have that going for us. Uh, Yeah, we genuinely could do that. You know, we could put Russ back at the two. He'll actually have help for once in a uh, in a big three. If, oh, damn. John Wall does not want to be here. We have enough money to offer him the max. He just, damn, he does not want to be here. KD, same goes for him. Wait, let me see that again. KD, I mean, yeah, you did just leave a year ago, but he also does not want to be here. And he has offers that are 100%. Now, Steph Curry actually does, crazily enough. Maybe I should do it. Maybe I should do it. I'm feeling weird. Chris Paul, I mean, we could pull him up to OKC early. He could uh, facilitate the offense. He has no offers. He's only 32. Damn, we take Chris. Now they went to the finals. That's kind of crazy. But uh, Paul Millsap has all the offers in the world. They're like doing the opposite of what I expected to where I thought I was basically going to end up with Paul Millsap. And oh, well, I guess Gordon Hayward really isn't here. But yeah, screw it. Considering that I can't get KD because uh, he's already he's already locked in over there. I don't think we have any. Yeah, we don't have any free agents whatsoever. So I'm going to offer John Wall, Chris Paul and Steph Curry. I swear I, I really am. Are we getting weird? Yeah, but come on. It's the first month of 2K. There's just error just dropped. Let me be. I'm going to give all them this little player option deal. Um, I'll throw the no trade clause on there. Yeah, screw it. We'll do it. All right. John Wall doesn't want to be here. So uh, yeah, I guess we're not offering you. But Chris Paul, I mean, shoot you too. If I have to choose between Chris Paul and Curry, um, I'm going to choose curry i'm gonna choose curry i'm not gonna be stupid for the sake of being stupid and then with my last offer you know what i might actually have enough money to pull this off regardless maybe uh how much money did i have when i already offered like steph or something or john wall i think steph cost a little bit more but with iggy i don't know if i'd have enough money for this but i'll yeah let's play a little bit more within our boundaries i'll offer avery bradley there you go steph curry chris paul and avery bradley all accepted our contracts and i can sign avery bradley and steph curry uh, a lot of, we're gonna have a very short team plus anthony davis and and I mean, we've got our starting lineup, though, if we want it, which is going to be Russell Westbrook, Stephen Curry, Avery Bradley, <laughs> Laurie Marketing, and Anthony Davis. Oklahoma City, welcome to your new team. I don't know what's going on, but screw it. Whatever, man. Damn, John Wall's got all the offers in the world now. And Chris Paul still has none. All right, let's... Oh, wait. Last time I did a video like this, I think I, I tried to offer minimum contract guys and it, it screwed me. Oh my goodness, KD's back out here. Um, I tried to offer minimum contract guys and it like screwed me over and then it took Curry or it took whoever the best player I was signing. Whatever. Too much info for too much BS. Anyways, Avery Bradley at the three, he actually goes up in overall. Russell Westbrook at the three goes up and I mean, at the two goes up in overall. So we're going to have Russell Westbrook there. Avery Bradley at the three. He's basically, you know, he's 6'3", but it's like Norman Powell. You know, uh, that's why I always think of whenever i think of like a small small forward no pun ad gets better at the center i'm sorry ad i know you hate that position in real life but uh i guess it'll just suffer and now we basically just need backups everywhere at least the best players we can get possible so i'm gonna go do that now i know as of this point the team is basically randomly constructed garbage although it would work i mean let's be honest obviously it would work uh, and it's probably going to work russell westbrook steph curry and anthony davis um with russ going back to his college position of shooting guard and avery bradley being the defender he is russ being a defender when necessary aka now that he doesn't have to do everything and lloyd marketing and being the swiss army knife four that we need right now i guess we'll call him that anyways oh yeah i'm never passing up an opportunity to sign michael beasley michael beasley two-year deal straight up no team options no nothing um i see ty lawson out here but i, I was saying basically the whole fit thing because i do see michael carter williams now he can't shoot that's the only thing rondo would be kind of cool though imagine rondo out there running plays having steph curry off the ball is he on a minimum uh nobody's offered him i'm gonna give him the minimum regardless crazily enough manu ginobili has no offers i'm gonna try and get him in here I i'm gonna do a year i'm gonna do a year all right michael beasley's 
signed off the rip. Oh, I don't know why. Oh, damn. Manu didn't sign. Oh, Nene, if you're trying to pull up, pull up. Simple as that. Glenn Robinson, you kind of fell off, so we can get you for cheap. Damn, Jabari Parker. Huh? Oh, I was about to say, I can't offer this, dude. That's a lie. All right, Rondo pulled up. Damn, Nene didn't. We are going to literally have one of them Golden State Warrior type teams where you have a bunch of players that are just out here for a year and then got to leave in a second. Any Thunder Legends out here? I know Mike Muscala played for them eventually, but uh, I don't think he had at this point. Oh, Rondé Hollis Jefferson fake. Damn, never mind. I was going to try and sign fake Kobe. Oh, Sean Livingston, mid-range maestro. Come on now. Vince Carter. Oh, no, I'm, I'm going to make sure we get Vince Carter, especially because Glenn Robinson just didn't sign. I see Thanasis out here. Yeah, this is nasty. Paul Pierce. Oh, yeah. Forget Vince Carter. I'm sorry, Vince Carter. Oh, my goodness. Everyone is signing elsewhere. Oh, we might actually need you people. Hold on. I know I just traded you, but let's get Anthony Morrow back. And I think we might be good after that. Um, we're going to kind of be in hell. They still have two way. Do they are they gonna let me sign two-way contracts? No, they won't. Okay, that's fine. Actually, you know what, Muscala? I will I will pick you up just because I need you for some assurance, just in case. I don't even know, honestly. Curry got worse for some reason, but Avery Bradley went up by four. Okay. I know you went up by one because I made you a small four, but that's a little bit much. Um, campaign's getting better, so he's gonna have that backup PG spot solidified. And then from there, honestly, it's pretty random. Oh yeah, Rondo fell off a bit. Paul Pierce, duh. All right, well, this will be interesting. Do I start Michael Beasley or Lori Markinen? Um, I'm gonna start Lori Markinen. So off the rip, I'm gonna make Michael Beasley a small forward instead of a power forward because I want Laurie to start over him. This has been one hell of an offseason. This is actually probably one of, one of the more... Now, I'm not going to lie. Hey, I was saying it when I went to go trade for uh, AD that if 2K actually made it, because most of the players I saw were not untouchable, and usually they are. And I don't know what that was about, but I like that a lot because it gets boring having to trade for the same players or having to go un untouchable to untouchables yourself. Pause if necessary. Someone got arrested today, and I shouldn't be talking like this on this type of day. Anyways, we're going to have a lot of mid ranges off the bench. Shaw Livingston and Michael Beasley with Kelly Olenek and Cameron Payne. Shaw Livingston's tall enough. He can play the two as well. Um, we have a lot of guards. And then we got Jeremy Grant down here, Paul Pierce, Muscala, Rondo, but we don't need another guard playing right now. So uh, yeah, Curry, Russell Westbrook, Avery Bradley, Laurie Market, and Anthony Davis. And the rest is the rest. Let's see what happens. Screw it. Also, I didn't even, I, I have yet to check. Oh, well, we got a new coach. So uh, seven second. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think seven seconds will be good because we are a fast team. We have a lot of short, quick players. This is going to be weird. Let me get a few shots up, Russ. What are we doing, man? Although Russ's jumper in here is slow as hell. Oh, yeah. I think since the last video, remember the last video I did or whatever with the Anthony Edwards one? I was like, oh, yeah. I can't, I can't play on here because of the, uh, it was something like the timing or whatever. Well, I kind of still feel that, but anyways, I've been using the rhythm shooting now. Um, actually I'll ramble about this during the season. Let me, and I don't think I hit one shot, but anyway, yeah, all in all with this game, cause I don't know, I've, I played the game like a, a hefty amount. I haven't played in like three days though. I need this game and I don't think that's a good sign for someone like me. That's this much of a nerd with 2k and does 2k for a living. And, uh, yeah, I don't really like this game. I'm gonna be honest with you. I like, uh, Actually, I've had discussions with friends and basically it's like all the other stuff like the like the city is cool and like a lot of like the stuff is cool. It's just I don't I really don't like the gameplay. I don't like playing the game personally, but that's really it. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, but it's also not surprising. Trey Lyles for Laurie Market and over my dead body. Anyways, we're first in the conference. They'll let me pause it real quick. Shout out to the PC Sim Speed. It's doing pretty well. Oh, never mind. I guess we're second now. The Jazz. Who the hell's on the Jazz? I never checked where KD went. Watch, it's the Jazz. No, it's not. They got Dwight Howard though and Rudy Gobert and Derek Favors weird team anyways chris paul ended up going back to the clippers he also got much worse and they have vooch now i actually saw deandre jordan's on the magic so they must have just traded him for vooch jalen brown and tatum are back together again although tatum's wearing number 20 i'm gonna leave it anyways out of pure hate i don't even hate tatum it's just for the love of the game i really messed up the bucks screw them i guess game kenneth farid too they have one of the worst shooting teams i've seen in a while well the Sixers are actually kind of oh so they traded those two picks for uh kemba and michael kidd gilchrist another team that struggles with some shooting right here but anyways, that's actually pretty cool. I don't know what they're doing lineup wise. They're probably just putting Ben at the four. But damn, that's actually a cool team. I remember Kemba dropped 60 on the Sixers. I'll never forget that game. And Russell Westbrook is currently ranked number one in the NBA and overall, crazily enough. John Wall left. KD stood on the Warriors. Damn, sorry I stole your guy. And I don't know where John Wall went. There goes our team. I must have just missed it. Here's the new Pelicans after we stole their team. I doubt they were that. Oh, wow. They got Lonzo now, too. They actually have a pretty good starting lineup. It's just it's just young. I basically just did the better version of the Paul George trade. I had to give up way more, but yeah. And John Wall, damn, he went to the Nets again. I think in the last sim I did of this, uh, whatever the hell, he went to the Nets as well. Oh, damn. Also, speaking of, uh, I forgot to re-sign Westbrook. So now 
yeah, we're going to have to wait for him to be an actual free agent or accept his player option or whatever. He might accept it. Either way, we'll have him back. This is the first year with the All-Star Draft. And we got Team James and Team LeBron. All oh, the irony. Look, Russell Westbrook made the starters. Steph Curry's over here and AD's right here. We are now currently first. One and a half games above the Jazz, who I still don't know why they're playing that good. But shout out to them. And Westbrook, thankfully for him, for the sake of his, you know, uh, I don't know, Bones, as he has Hall of Fame Diamond, Hall of Fame Layup Mix Master, is averaging 23, 11, and 11 this season compared to last year's 36, 13, and, and 9.6. Oh no, he didn't get the triple double. Oh no, what are we going to do? Steph is averaging 22, 4, and 9, which is severely down from his numbers. And AD is actually about the same, but uh, yeah, screw it, whatever. That's good for you. Lloyd Marketing has been pretty inconsistent so far, but that's all right. We're still playing pretty good, so I can't complain too much. He probably isn't much better or better at all at defense than Michael Beasley, so maybe you can argue that i should just damn his shooting isn't that good either what the hell yeah his defense sucks his rebounding's all right though but it's also once again not much better than michael beasley maybe he should just start at the four yeah maybe screw it michael beasley you are a new starting power forward who did they take oh they took laurie out the rotation you know we're not gonna do that though we're not gonna do that we're gonna still make him the sixth man with 20 minutes a game the rest is gonna stay the same and uh yeah it's an interesting team uh we play basketball sometimes that's the much most i could say about it oh and by the way uh because i know i was talking about not liking the game when i was shooting i actually don't really have an issue with the shooting personally i know like there's been a lot of people going crazy over like oh you can't make shots or whatever i have an issue with when i play a play now game and like i can green all my shots and the dude i'm playing hits 15 whites i literally have two separate occasions now where i had like all-time games and I lose to players who can't hit a green and just make white shots over me. So that's what I hate. Uh, that's part of what I like. Yeah, I just hate about this game. I said on my last stream I did that I'm just not playing play now this year because I have had more unenjoyable experiences so far this year than I had all of last year, which is kind of sad considering what 2K prioritizes, which is like they actually prioritize that play now stuff, which was like the uh, pro play or whatever. LeBron won MVP which is, oh, well, that's not surprising because all of our guys were on a damn big three. Markel won Rookie of the Year. Grievous Vasquez, sixth player. Kawhi, I literally read it every time. I'm not even trying to like, whatever. Kawhi won DPOI. Jalen Brown, most improved. And Tyron Lue, damn, they won 71 games over there. A yeah, good thing we assembled a, a big three because the Cavs are not slowing down off their last year's championship. I mean, they have one as well. Uh, ours is much better overall wise, especially Kevin Love is a much worse overall than any of the players on the court. More than likely, I think it's like an 88 probably. Um, we won 60 games. They won 71. You could say they're on the weaker East, but whatever. First round against Minnesota. Okay, this one, we might actually have to switch a matchup because Michael Beasley against Cat. Let me see if we can win the next game because, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now, Markinen ain't much better. But let's go ahead and put Markinen in the starting five for now. Just because against Cat, that's probably, we're probably asking for, asking for hell. Please don't lose this. Screw it, 93-92. If we lose this game... We go down 3-1 in the first round, and we'll, we'll basically be the laughing stock of basketball. See what happens. Thankfully, I did change that because now I don't have to see Michael Beasley guard Cat. Instead, it really is Laurie Markkinen. Pass down to Cat. I mean, I would rather if it was AD, but he's not in the game anyways right now. Anyways, we're back up the other way. Westbrook crosses back to Curry. Curry goes left. Curry brings it back right in his era. Come on, guy. It's your era. Oh, he missed. Tyus Jones trying to walk down Olenek. He's got a Chandler in the paint. He's going to take it at the wing for some reason. Hands it to Towns. Towns against Markinen. This would actually be for like the game. I forgot all about the circumstances. Why are they switching? Why are they switching? Wait, wait. Sean Livingston did a great job until the very last second. Sean Livingston was keeping Cat out there. It looked like the Boogie Cousins meme. And then it and then it didn't. All right, well, our starters are back in. So we can't complain about that anymore. They're also, they also have Cat at the center now that I see this. But anyways, uh, six seconds. Curry has the ball. Whether we go down 3-1 or not, will Curry do it? Curry pull up mid-range shot. He misses. We have went down 3-1 in the first round to the eighth seed. What the hell are we doing? I changed one thing and one thing only. I gave 41 minutes to the whole big three just to make sure we lock in. And when we locked in this game and locked the hell up and out of them, and we are now down 2-3. Come on. We, we can't allow this. 115, 121, 126, 120. We done it. Okay. Game seven in Oklahoma City. Back at home. They're still doing swell. They're well rested. We got them on Thibodeau minutes and we have done it. We have came back from down 3-1. And we're going on to play the 3-1 Maestros, the Golden State Warriors. And we're going to play against KD for the first time. Now, we genuinely don't have a better matchup for him than Avery Bradley. 
Um, so, yep, six foot ten, six foot eleven against Avery Bradley. We're gonna see what happens. Screw it. We're here. And at this point, I'm leaving everything as is in terms of rotations and stuff. Why not? We win game one by eight. Slay Thompson at 30. Our big three all played swell. They come out to a quick game one lead, and it looks like they are gonna win this one. Curry also, by the way, as I failed to mention that somehow, first time playing as his team that he's now betrayed. We just did a curry for KD trade, basically just a year delayed. And um, Avery Bradley with 22 and 10 assists in this game, along with another three more, four more technically. Well, no, three more double doubles from AD, Curry, and Westbrook. They're going to win another one, 34 from Clay and 33 from KD. They win by 40 in the next game. We were, yeah, I have my guys playing 40 a game. Well, AD did, but this man Clay played 43 minutes and scored 46 points in this damn game. They are up 3 2. So the Warriors might be better off with without all their guys is what I'm seeing without all their guys without Steph maybe Steph is the problem Avery Bradley had 40 on 25 shots and KD had 35 and 10 so he still got his way and we are going to game seven in Oklahoma City and we are going to win this series damn near 30 point win 41 10 and 9 from Russell 29 and 17 from AD and we are in the conference finals after coming back twice against the Utah Jazz with Dante Exum, Alec Burks, Gordon Hayward, Trey Lyles, Rudy Gobert, and Dwight Howard off the bench. That's literally the team. I can't fake this enough or whatever. Or, yeah, basketball. Anyways, let's see how this goes. I feel like this is just a fluke somehow. I don't even know how they're really here. Will they take a game on us? Over or under? Will, will they cook us? No. 52 seconds ago in this one. Close game yet again. Markinen is at the power forward. They have Dwight in right now, though, so it's actually good that he's in for sure. And I mean, he is the starter. Anyways, Curry will get all the way to the rim, take the layup. That is good to put us up by two with 44 seconds to go. We're in this nasty Utah arena. Westbrook had some things yelled at him once upon a time in this arena. Anyways, they, oh, they got Tyreek Evans out here too. Look at Tyreek Evans. Back out to Burks. Burks will get the screen from Dwight on the left side wearing that Atlanta Hawks number eight. And Burks will shoot that shot. Alec Burks, big money Burks. He had like the weirdest game seven performance ever against uh, the Pacers, right? Or like game six, game four. He was playing good in the playoffs this past year. He was really good for the Knicks in like 2021 when we went to the playoffs. Um, but I didn't expect him to be good this year. I expected that last one. Anyways, Curry will go over the screen. Curry with some room from three. And that is off. Gobert gets the board. They call a timeout. Steph, stupid stuff keeps on putting up these threes. Come on, you ain't never tried a three before. Trey Lyles passing in the ball to uh the Gordon. oh my goodness did we just play the worst defense in nba history trey lyles with the absolute dot avery bradley tweaked out and, and reached at nothing he looks like my trash teammates on the rec center and gordon hayward with the most gordon hayward layup of all time to potentially seal the game they take a two two point lead with 15.5 to go pass in from Markin into curry curry trying his best to i don't know do something can we give westbrook the ball he's wide open wait maybe maybe i lied uh all right, do something with it. Three seconds. Russ, where are you going? Russ will pull up the three, and that is good. Russell Westbrook puts Utah in the dirt. I said they were saying things about you, and you said things right back in the form of basketball anyways. Um, yeah, Westbrook, basket, hello. Top of the key. Shout out to Cash Nasty. Fuck it. 3-0. I could just click simulate game. There's no way on God's green earth that we lose this series, right? Simulate through game. Okay. Simulate through game. Okay. Simulate through. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways. Finals. Cavaliers. Kevin Love. LeBron James. Iman. Tristan Thompson. Kyrie. Let's do it. Get more minutes to Michael Beasley. He's getting enough. He's just off the bench. They are cooking us. You know, maybe you're not getting enough. Maybe he... Let's see who played well this game. Laurie Markin in two for six. Michael Beasley, four for eight. Not much of a difference, but I'm going to change it anyways. Screw it. All right. Game two. This is scary. Scary, but oh wow! I, I yo, it simulates so fast on PC. You gotta you gotta allow me to to fail sometimes. It, it throws me off. Um, all right, well we win that game. I I didn't. I it wasn't the craziest jumping type of game, anyways, and neither was this one. We get smoked in this one. Okay, come on, OKC, lock in. There you go, seven point win. Come on, OKC, lock in, lock. Oh, okay, no, never mind. One twenty five to go. We can go down three one, just like the Cavs did in twenty sixteen, right here. If we don't play safe, well, I mean, there's no really playing safe. We got to play rigid, uh, um, uh, unprovoked. We're down by three, one twenty three to go, and LeBron's going left. He stops. He's guarded by Westbrook currently. This is terrifying and he'll pass it down to azili guarded by michael beasley what is this big body lineup they're running right are they running lebron at the pointer they are they got bogdanovich azili kevin love lebron and tristan thompson they i thought we were running a small lineup but they're just i mean maybe it's bogdanovich i don't know 
I think Curry usually plays point for us. Curry, speaking of him, will go to the rim and get that bucket anyways. Can we please get these trash lineups out of here anyways? We're down by three with 59 seconds to go. LeBron will go left right at Russ, pass it down. And what a steal by Avery Bradley in them lanes. I called you stupid last game, not this game though. To the corner, Westbrook drives at Braun. He's going to bring it back out, I guess. Pass back out to Bradley. Bradley will get the screen. He'll pass it to AD. AD hasn't seen the ball much, but we also have 45 different options. Now with Avery Bradley and Michael Beasley pick and roll. Avery Bradley pulls up for the three, and that would have been an insane back and forth sequence from Avery Bradley, but he missed it. Wait a second. Wait, wait no, we're down 3-2. This is it. Oh, no. Tristan Thompson, he's still righty. He makes it. Wait, no. He switched to righty in like 2013. Whatever. Anyways. Okay, misses the second one. Michael Beasley gets the board. We have timeouts, but we didn't take them. Avery Bradley to Westbrook. Russell brings it back out. Goes to the post. Russell to the post with no time left. He's got nowhere to go. Pass out to Bradley for three. He gets fouled by LeBron. He just foul baited crazy. Avery Bradley at the line. The first one is good. 78%. Can we please get uh, 78 to 100? Please do not miss a free throw. Thank you. Okay. We actually might have a chance if he just hits this free throw. Please. Thank you. We, we can foul and things will be okay. Kyrie's back in the game. Iman's back. They're going to... Okay. They give it to Iman. We foul Iman. Can we get even more missed free throws? We have two timeouts. Iman, Shumper. I thought that's crazy. I actually remember his free throw being exactly that animation. Whoever made him might have put the exact animation. Damn, he made both. All right. Well, we're down two. I mean, down three. 12.6 to go. Westbrook or whatever will pass it in or whoever's going to pass it in. Westbrook or Curry's going to take this shot. It might be Russ. Curry's all the way in that corner right now. Unless, no, they're going to they're gonna set a screen for Curry. Curry, oh my goodness, the worst passes of all time. Curry back out to Russ. Russ will take the three and Russ will hit the three. Russell Westbrook for three to tie up the game. Cleveland has no timeouts. This would be devastating. Oh God. Curry, not again. Not again. Steph, please step up. Steph, please step up. Oh, thank God. Oh, we almost had a damn nom flashback. Hey, don't touch me. All right. Okay. Cleveland versus OKC basketball. We are going OT. Do I just watch the whole OT? Probably not. I'm gonna probably skip ahead at least a minute or two. Nah, I lied. I might stick it. Nah, I'm lying. I'm lying again. Uh, all right, we'll go. We'll go. Nah, this is a lot. This is a lot. Hold on. All right, 113, 115 with 257 to go. Westbrook or Beasley or okay, Beasley passing to Westbrook. We're down by two. Curry will take it all the way to the basket and and not finish through the contact. LeBron contested it. Kyrie back up the other way. Okay, crazily enough, it's been a few hours or whatever, but um, I'm back now because my whole computer, my my whole recording crashing that, that happened during uh i was doing my caitlin clark video recently but screw it i don't know how to fix it so we're just gonna roll with it whatever uh, avery bradley on lebron pass down to lebron lebron against bradley back out to shumper shumper over to love love over to thompson thompson gonna wow it looked like he should have lost the ball there for a good second and i don't know what the ad and you fouled a bastard he was not about to make no shot why would you foul him? you know he's not gonna make these free throws either tristan oh my goodness way off tristan the second one that one's off as well hey ball ball on lot i i love Rasheed. that was you know that's a great core memory that i was able to get as a child was rasheed wallace as russell westbrook throws away the ball on the 2013 knicks what why is lebron taking so long to shoot this shot he did the whole pro play animation this man steph curry never stepped up steph curry good lord i mean you're not gonna stop him he goes to the rim anyways you might as well not give him seven feet between you and him idiot they are now up five we've established our second shot in this game or series or whatever but oh, we might lose it right now too Steph all the way, uh, uh, uh. 128 to go, Cleveland up three. Kyrie, screen on the right from Tristan. Kyrie will go right, pass it down to Braun. Braun in the post against Avery. He shoots the fader, it's off. Rebound by Mike Beasley. Beasley up to Bradley. Bradley up to Westbrook. Westbrook, 111 to go. He's hitting Hezzies. He's going left. He's dribbling out of bounds. He's he's a crackhead. Pass over Curry for three. Steph, it is off. A very late push timing. They just, that's like, they either green it or they very late it. I, they don't do anything else in this damn game. Um, all right, Westbrook on Kai. He's going to give it back down to Braun again. Now, Michael Beasley is not a better option than Avery Bradley, so screw it. Well, he actually did come over and help, and it didn't matter. There's not a better option than actually a double team. I should say that. And, well, it didn't matter. LeBron, five-point lead. Yeah, we are seeing the... Uh, we're reaping or uh, unreaping the benefits of uh, 
of having a six foot three small forward anyways maybe that's the one thing i'll address uh in the off season or whatever if we lose come on steph hey where are you going pass down mike beasley through the through the contact through the pressure through the agony through the defeat the distinct defeat what am i talking about i don't know lebron lebron goes to the basket on okay this time it's just everyone's fault involved yeah because Michael Beasley damn near set a screen on Avery Bradley and this man Braun just went around him. They switched it. it, it yeah, they, they switch it here and Braun basket. Who I guess I could put AD on him. Never really considered it. Oh, LeBron's doing his little king emote. Passing Curry gets a wide open lane and he goes right at Braun for the bucket. Okay, 26 seconds left and now we have to foul but let's be honest this is over with it's over uh yeah Kyrie went to the line like we were not about to win that game 41 from Ron and the Cavs LeBron James 28 8 and 9 to win the championship we lose Paul Pierce retired for a second I thought it was gonna be someone impactful sorry Paul see ya at least we had him in his last year of his Hall of Fame career I'm not gonna lie the shot clock not resetting to a full 24 was one of the better rules they added it's just not necessary that 14 teams can still do what they need to do or well pretty hectically but yeah um we obviously have no picks because we traded the whole damn world the picks i mean yeah i went to the utah oh yeah i forgot i gave steph curry a no trade clause nonetheless i mean i'm not changing anything we're just gonna have to go out and re-sign a new crop of guys i mean and uh all these these guys specifically all played really well we just need to fill out the rest of the roster also hopefully russ is not gonna accept that player option who am i talking about did i even load in the right draft class oh i did okay i'm not stupid westbrook decline campaigns going to free or well no we got his team option another good player so let's just keep it conserved right now um so we have our backup pg and we basically have nothing else except for, i i also would like to get a real power forward and move michael beasley to the backup and actually i would like if avery damn Avery rallies at 86 anyways can we get westbrook back russ please don't sell me uh, i'm gonna offer russ all the money in the world and a no trade clause and a player option he'll probably come back lebron's out here crazily enough we actually would have enough money for lebron if i wanted to if i wanted to trade eight million dollars worth which might be kind of tough with this team aside from russ i can go out and get these minimum contracts right so uh i mean okay we need that big wing type of guy uh, joe ingles might be good enough joe ingles old so might be good enough we got one offer from the clipper damn did this just say six million i was not about to offer this dude six million but wait why is our minimum offer have more interest though hold on can i see this he likes our minimum offer more than the clippers seven clippers you guys are weak as hell there's no other way to really say it honestly if we have an mle i'll come back out here and try and get covington as well all right russ is back and it's saying we can sign joe ingles and javel mcgee that's really funny that joe i've never seen anything like that before him to decline that much more money to come here uh joe is also so he's 30 he should stay at least a 78 we'll be straight and then we, now we have our backup center we i'm probably still gonna just start avery bradley three since he's at 86 he also did get four boards so like statistically it wasn't a bad thing it wasn't a downside in any way so it sounds like i'm inevitably saying that michael beasley's still gonna be power forward but laurie's gonna start this year because he's probably gonna take an overall jump more than likely let's just make sure these guys get signed yeah okay we're good and then from there we basically have a good nine man rotation right here honestly if i wanted to just call it a day right here but uh screw it let's get rondo back let's uh can i afford tj warren really will they let me do that if if i could afford him i'll, I'll that's an easy signing clint capella less necessary for us than tj warren now he's he's not a defender he also might get matched back he's far from a defender oh covington's still out here let me get him wait let me see his stats oh he can't hit the damn he can't put a ball in an ocean sadly screw it i'm off for him and warren all right we got covington i don't know why i gave him four years i'm not really sure and screw it jamal crawford on the minimum and one more center for the actually one more power forward big body uh rashawn come on rashawn hell no brandon bass brandon bass you are gonna regress crazy but i don't care curry went down another overall and marketing went up five so yeah far and away starting four this year campaign's getting pretty good too speaking of uh players getting better let's check up on oladipo and sabonis are at 85 and 81 now i'm not gonna lie to you i upped both of their potentials when the video started um they had oladipo to cap out at 80 forever which made no sense because he literally became an all-star like a season or two later and then sabonis they had him I, I think I showed it where it was supposed to be coming like a 78. Yeah, I don't know. I just did like normal, like 82 minimum, 88 max or something like that. Anyways, that was before we traded them though. Yep. Jamal Crawford, Brandon Bass, and Rajon Rondo all got way worse, but screw it. We got cool vets. So that's, you know, it's always worth it. Coming up on the 2019 draft, the Zion draft, the draft of all drafts. Not really, but it, it should have been kind of. I feel like it's not even, uh, you know, you know, like when like you're living through something. Have you guys ever done this before where like you're living through something and you're like, man, this is history. Yeah, this is going to be a crazy thing for me to be talking about in that fashion but uh 
I'm thinking about that. Damn, Michael Beasley's not making the rotation. Make it a 10, man. I'm thinking about that in the context of um seeing what Z Ja and Zion have done off the court during their career so far. And when I say that, I mean Ja with, you know, being saying off the... I mean, Zion kind of just like everything surrounding him, like whether it's all like the weight or the... Or well, there's been some other stuff too, but also just straight up, like if you were to just look at the basketball reference like 20 years later from now and know nothing, just seeing how little amount of games he played for like a goaded number one pick. But I say that in a sense that I feel like... It it's rare to see that number one, two pick combo, like ever both have that many like issues that have kept them off the court thus far. Cause Ja De dead just missed a whole season and then got injured. Well, missed half of one and then got injured because of his stuff. And then, but also both actually being good too. Speaking of being good, Jabari Parker, one time all-star down here. Hello, Jabari. Russell Westbrook's a starter. AD's a starter and Steph's off the bench. Steph has become the weakest link of the three, crazily enough. And uh, we're worse than the Nuggets this year. Nuggets with Jokic, obviously. But, uh, and Blake Griffin went to the Nuggets. That's actually kind of cool. That's a, uh, he's literally Aaron Gordon on crack. So that, that would have, man, I've never thought about that before, but that would have been one of the coolest pairings to see. I'm not going to lie. Also, they, well, they have Jamal at the two, but they have Moutier. So I'll just leave things as is screw it avery bradley's cold as hell you know what? i'm gonna i'm gonna just put the the subs on auto just because i tr i trust whatever jacob underwood does which i think he's about to put avery bradley on the bench for a bit yeah that's fine it's whatever i went straight past the traded line i don't care we don't got nothing to improve really demarcus cousins won most valuable player dante divincenzo won rookie of the year okay his shot tendency is only a 65 which is kind of high but he averaged 20 in his rookie season with five assists the magic must be in hell he wait what does that say he played 47 minutes a game kemba walker sixth player of the year deandre jordan dpoi yeah he probably also they got one of them glitches or whatever where you just play a million minutes i don't know how that even happens but it does they must be on 48 minutes a game i don't even know what's going on the aaron fox most improved mike malone coach of the year so i guess we finished second jabari parker all nba first team on the magic the magic another player who played a million minutes a game for this damn team maybe we need injuries on um maybe that's just still a play out their book i don't know all nba teams westbrook i actually don't see anybody else aside from westbrook and we are the second seed this year playing minnesota again and they got avery at the three right now guarding wiggins which is fine Cat at the center, Zach Levine and Rubio. We should be good. We should be just fine this year, especially since they have Cat at the center now. They, I, I remember they switched it to that anyways last year, and we still almost lost. Anyways, KD and the Warriors. Screw it. Let's just uh just simulate through. Game one is a win. Game three is a win. Game four is a loss. Game five is a win. And we are in game seven, just like that. Game seven is looking like a runaway win for us, a 36-point win. We're going to the conference finals. The Nuggets, like I've already went over their roster with uh, Aaron Gordon on crack at the power forward. They win game one. We win game two. We win game three. They win game four. Screw it. I'm jumping in at game five. Let's do it. Okay. And I'm jumping out of game five too. We got smoked. Emmanuel Moutier on one. Are we not going to win? But it's going to be, we literally tore down the Warriors dynasty. Oh my goodness. We went to OT. 113, 113. I think we're down 3-2, right? So uh, we kind of need this. Yeah, I don't know why my computer keeps crashing. Uh, full trans. I, I've said this before, but I have a five thousand dollar computer I bought like last year. So I don't know why this thing would ever crash trying to play a damn video game. I mean, I guess that's just how computers work, right? They just fail you and ruin your day. Anyways, pass down to Blake Griffin. That's that's good. Steph Curry guarded by Moutier. Moutier looks like he's low key locking up with them red sleeves. Screen by AD and Curry. Oh, never mind. He got enough room and chucked that three, and it's good. We've kind of um, shunned the ball out of russ's hands although he's actually still hit some of our biggest shots in this with that one three hitting that last game anyways pass down to blake blake against larry market and larry market it looks like a baby next to him like a gazelle with no accessories or nothing um and blake misses good board by Lori. i low-key can't switch the matchup because Jokic is on ad so it doesn't even yeah there's not really a better option here obviously they went to blake every time it's a different story which they kind of are and curry will pull another moving three and that one's off. that would have been the, the dagger but now the Nuggets still have a chance to win this damn series right here, right now. Blake to the basket. He'll go to the post. Back and pass it back out to Wilson Chandler. Wilson Chandler in the corner against Avery Bradley. Back out to Moutier. Moutier guarded by Markinen. And oh my goodness, he shot an abysmal shot. Westbrook grabs the rebound. We have no timeouts. Neither team does. 25 seconds to go. Up to Curry. Curry, he's trying to mix up and do stuff and do things. 10 seconds to go. They're going to run the last possible shot they can. That is true. We are up. And Curry will get some room all the way. And Curry dunks it down. Old man, not really that old, but still Steph Curry. Shoot, it could be 19-year-old Steph Curry. They're down by three, so they probably can't win on this. Blake will get the shot, and he misses. Blake Griffin misses. 
and we are going to game seven four point win by us in game seven thunder come on okay we are locked in and we are gonna come back from down three two sorry emmanuel moody avery bradley had different plans i guess and the celtics with second year jason tatum and jalen brown on his in his third year with al horford Derek favors and isaiah thomas no Kyrie trade no injuries either though and uh we win game one it got kind of close to the end Isaiah had 31 game two we win by 14 game three all right we're down by like eight with like a minute ago so yeah we're gonna lose this one I mean we're up by two with 90 yeah yeah we're gonna win and 3-1 come on OKC the most odd rebuild but uh it might be successful 111 111 with 131 to go I would enjoy to see a little bit more of this team you know what? I'm gonna make an executive decision can we put Westbrook at the one I just want to see him hoop. Forget Curry. Curry weeks up. This ain't no damn Warriors video. This has been weird. Oh, also, I didn't change it. You know what, though? We're not really going to get better matchups. And yeah, I'll, I'll, whatever. Oh, Isaiah gets it back. That's off. Isaiah Thomas with some absolute garbage attempts. Uh, Isaiah used to really get to that rim, though. If you, like, didn't see Isaiah Thomas when he was in his prime or whatever, it was like nothing was a barrier despite him being short. Like, he could still just do everything. I mean, he wasn't a defender by no means. But um, Curry, oh, wow. They rank what? They were in the most perfect off-ball Curry play. And you know what? He got to the rim eventually, but he had the most wide-open three in NBA history. Isaiah back up the other way. Jalen is wide open. He's going to pass it to Jalen. Jalen looks a little bit taller. Why Jalen like a, a damn demigod? Hold on. Six, seven. It's just that flat top and that player build or whatever. Jay Crowder's got it. Number 99. Boss man 99. Down in the post to Big Al. Al Horford, they're going to run an off-ball screen for IT. I actually like this play, and they ran that play to perfection. Isaiah Thomas will take the lead with one oh, a one-point lead, 37 seconds to go. Curry will try and mix his way to the basket. He's going to go straight at IT. No, he's not. He passes it back out to AD, who has not seen the ball much. Oh, but back out to Curry. Curry redirects himself back to that corner and takes the shot, makes the shot a two-point lead, 23 seconds to go. IT back up the other way. 18 seconds to go he will pass it out to crowder crowder back over to isaiah isaiah 12 seconds to go isaiah he's half spins to the basket back out to al al over to jay jay crowder another screen for isaiah looks like they'll get it to isaiah isaiah one second to save the season and it is off the oklahoma city thunder have won the 2000 i just realized jason tatum's right there we're number 20 uh the 2019 nba championship we have done it it was unorthodox it was weird you know, I still feel un un unethical in my business behavior by signing Steph Curry, but I was really excited to trade for Anthony Davis. I'm not going to lie. And I traded the damn world for him. And we still, is that Julius Randle in a Celtics jersey? Don't show me that again. Don't show me that garbage again. And also, I just saw, I seen this in one of my other videos I did, but I just seen a girl hugging in the bag that was wearing a jersey like we're watching the WNBA sim. I've seen stuff on Twitter about how sometimes they'll have the opposite wrong team celebrating the finals. That's pretty funny. Um, Honestly, just leaving in at this point. Screw it. What else? Uh, what else we got to talk about? Oh, Joe Ingles hoisting up this trophy. Who is that? Who is that? I, I don't even. Who is this standing on the right right here? I I don't know. I, I've lost track. Am I tweaking? Who just snuck up? Here? Is a AD won the finals MVP? Are they lying to me? I don't know. They got the damn assistant coach, the the team manager, the water boy holding the trophy. It's honestly kind of funny. Anthony Davis, he really won finals MVP, twenty three and fourteen with four assists one steal and three blocks honestly this was fun i'm just gonna end it here we did it we won russell westbrook a championship it's been real it's been fun but even real fun shout out to basketball you can subscribe to the channel if you feel like it. it's up to you you have free will shout out to Derek fisher and i'm gonna get the hell up and out of here good